<laughs> Should shoot it up a little bit here. Even up a bit more. That's good. It has to. But the ceiling. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. But the ceiling. But this is a new view for us. This is our work. This has taken us about a week to take out a wall. Welcome that to was our running new space. Somewhere like there. Hi, my name's Ian. I'm Lauren. And together we're Bars and Bells. We have church bells ringing here. New studio views. This used to be my desk. That was Lauren sitting in her chair. But now today, Lauren's going to sit in her chair up front. I'm going to sit on the floor. We're going to start nice and easy today. Today is Sunday for us live here in the studio. And we're making pasta sauce. Today. And we've checked out a thousand recipes. Maybe and not. we are going with the most basic one. The basics. So let's get to the basics of the feet, the knees, the hips. As we said, Lauren will be seated and I'll be here. This is beautiful light, by the way. It's quite nice. So just quickly, sitting in any posture or on a chair, take 10 seconds and try to lift your big toe. Lift up the big toe, keep those other four toes heavy. And for five more seconds, keep it up, press it down. Then do the alternate or the opposite of lifting up those other four toes and continue to spread energy through that pinky side of the foot. Keep pressing down through the pinky and then three more seconds of lifting toes and then place them down. With the same foot, can you lift all those toes? That's our extension kind of version of toes, then place them down. And then can you grip on to that pair of socks? Right now, we're gonna to try to keep this inside part of the big ball of the foot there down, but the toes bent. Now open those toes flat. Now, crunch toes and lift that ball and just hold for about 10 seconds again, just gently building that nice fist or cramps tension under the foot. And then lightly open it up, spread the toes, place them down. The last thing with this ankle, I'll turn sideways, is to keep the, toe, the toes flat and to pull the arch. The toes stay flat and the arch pulls. And again, we're trying to hold that 10 second contraction. So again, like one of those video games, not video, arena games, you know? Mm, the claw. The plushy toys yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna use that arch as a claw and then shake that out. Switch your sides and we'll do the same things on the alternate side again. First, that big toe extension, try to lift up that big toe for 10 seconds. Doing things like pressing heavy on the others and lifting up the big, or even assisting with the big and then figuring out how to create that tension are appropriate as well. But now place that big toe down, lift up, spread those other four toes, and continue to press heavy, particularly through that pinky side. And do that for five, four, and then press them down. Then we lifted them all up. Can you try to again keep the pinky side, the big toe mound, and the heel heavy for that foot tripod? And then place them down, crunch them. For now, keep that big toe down. That's a little bit harder, but more intense could be that fist foot. So 10 seconds of just gently building that tension or the grip on the foot. And then from there, open up, shake, Flat toes though first, and then this is that arch pull. So keeping the toes flat and pulling the foot to the heel. 10 seconds of attention, a claw if you will. Nice hands, Lauren, use that claw, and then relax. So maybe one more little tug, and let that go. We're gonna stick with the ankles for one more time. If you're seated with me, a position that's comfortable, crossed over, or just supported in front could be okay too. I like us to grab on to these ankle bones of ours, these tibs and fibs, and with some tension, roll away from your body. Gently pull your foot to that dorsiflexion shape or foot to shin. And with the, the tibs, fibs here rolled away from our body, turn the foot up Oof. towards the ceiling. And we're grabbing onto those socks as allowed. And from there, I've done a quarter turn. I'm gonna do another quarter turn to end up in my ballet point. And then from here, I'm gonna do the dorsiflex back up. Now, I'm gonna roll those tib fibs towards me. And then I'll take that ankle and scoop out the bottom portion 
when Lauren looks up and holds her breath like that, I'm that not means holding. that's like a little bit intense. Trying to have better posture. A little bit intense to the point, and then at the point, pull back. And then we're gonna switch sides. Wiggle out those toes just once for today. Switch sides. Here again, we're over crossing. We'll grab onto the ankle, tibs, fibs, if you will. Roll them away from your body as your foot is in that dorsiflex position. From here, continue to pull the foot up while grabbing onto those socks that Lauren has alluded to. And then from here, that's my quarter turn. Lauren's on that same pace from the quarter turn to the point. Then at the point, pull back. Then spin those tips, fibs back towards us. And then grab onto those pairs of socks, the fist, the claw, and then work the foot towards the floor, scooping out the bottom. Oh, scooping out. Can you say scoop without thinking about ice cream? Then we're at oh, our I'm ballet about point. A pumpkin. And then our ballet point back to that dorsiflex. Wiggle out those toes. Shake, shake, shake. Scooping out the guts. Scooping out. It's not quite October yet, but the weather is there. The leaves are on the ground here. Time's a changing. Now, the knee. At the knee, can we try to incorporate these very subtle rotations? These very, very subtle rotations at the How knee. How are you doing that, Ian? How am I doing that? I'm holding on to my quad femur bone up here, and I'm thinking about those tib-fib bones here again, rotating at the knee. This is the foot. That might be important to address as well. This is the hip. And again, the more subtle shape is gonna be the knee. We'll come back to that in a second. Switch sides, play with it on the other side as well. The shape I'm showing now and as is Lauren is that external rotation in the knee. And then the shape I'm going towards right there is that internal rotation where the heel is a little bit out here, but again, avoiding that the ankle is doing too much work. We shouldn't feel too much here the way you would feel it in that sickled ankle. Burn. Now, if this is burning, politely burning, politely burning all the time, we'll take that into our knee extension. So, laying on your back or seated in a chair, take your knee into the external rotation shape. I'm deciding on my best angle. Decide on that angle. So I'm in external rotation at the knee, but my knee isn't that bent. So very lightly, I'm gonna bring my heel to my bum. Then finding a little bit of tension, little bit of resistance here, I'll slowly externally rotate it at the knee, extend or straighten the leg. Hold for a one 1000 and then own the back or the return as you bend the knee. It wants to slingshot, don't let it. Now we'll do the internal rotation on the knee, so going the other way. Slowly bend the knee as allowed, then generate tension from that deep place, and then nice extension all the way through, one 1,000, and then a knee bend. I like to do that twice, so from here, We'll go back to the external I have rotation. A hard place. Oh, come on. Hip flexion. Burn it. Yes. This place right here could be Holding politely my burned. Up. <laughs> my position is easier than seated. I will say that for sure. So, in external rotation, we have that deep knee bend, and then we're going to straighten just like Lauren, but we're going to slow down. Then we're going to slowly bring it back. Now, just wait for this extension. Turn in on the knee and bend it more. Then from there, generate nice tension to fully straighten. We have the dorsiflex ankles here, and then we're just gonna bend it with control again and return to the floor. I'm gonna be sore from that tomorrow. Well, then let's switch that out. You get on the floor. No, Make I have easy. to be easier. Oh, I have to be- Even it out. The cue I just possible. wanna go over again is when, I'll be on Sorry. my back here. When we're in the external rotation, find the deeper knee bend. Then we'll go straight, then we'll go bend. Then find that deeper knee bend again. Let's do it one last time for two on this side. I'm holding my hip here in the flex position, externally rotated at the knee. Then again, as I just said, let's slowly close up that gap. Create some tension, maintain external rotation at the knee, and slowly extend. Slow, control, 
return back, no slingshots allowed. Then at the knee, turn in, deep bend as allowed, and then with tension, not too much. You're letting the quads win, but you're letting the hamstrings lengthen out the knee to straight, and then slow on the back or the return to bend. Then one more time, externally rotate. Bend the knee more, because it will. I promise it'll go a little bit. And then nice and slow, get that extension. Hold for a second, slow return back. And our final repetition, that internal rotation on the knee and nice and slow to straighten and then down. Ha, huh. okay. From seated, one last thing. You could be on the ground like me, it would be harder. I'd recommend we get to the chair uh -huh, maybe fine. just like Lauren. Something easier. From your seated tall position, whether hands on the chair or not, can you take a leg, pull it across the body and get it towards that knee nook. Now, ultimately I want the knee to go up here, but first I want you to gently from the power in the hip, push the knee down and away, anchor heavy on the knee and try to pull the knee up. Now that we're up, I want us to think about a fishing idea and I want you to send energy out of your hip over here and then it will end up going towards down. Same thing, twice more. Let's reach down and out of, out of that hip, ultimately to go up, so we're pulling out. Can you feel this butt cheek work here? Ask it to. And then reach out as is to fish, cast out, press down. And then one more time here, press down on the foot on the knee, reach out of that hip, and pull the leg up. Open up away, fishing as we go, and then as strict as we can, let's lift and return to center. Whew. Hmm. Same thing, other side. Use those supports. If you're seated or seated on the floor or seated in a chair, avoiding the dump, standardize that your shape in the upper body doesn't change. Final time, other side. Lift, bend, Place a knee, ankle at the knee rather. This is my tighter side because the knee's up higher. Gently ask what, what's going on in your hip here. Pull it towards its low and then let's get it back towards that nice center position up tall here. Fishing as I go, so I'm gonna shoot energy out of the kneecap to go down. Pressing on that knee, I'm gonna lift out of that hip socket, pulling the knee towards my midline again. And then reaching out, pressing away. And we'll do that one more time as we continue to push down on the heel to lift out of that hip on the other side. And then our final repetition towards open. And then control the off. See that? Mm, that's not bad after a little rep rep. Sip of water, sip of coffee, and then join us on the floor. We have to get our little knee pads here as the wood floor is a little bit tough on our knees. We'll crawl around, we'll warm up on those hips first. On those first, hips, did you say? I said hips, but first, just as what Lauren was gonna say, get those wrists going. Get those wrists. Excuse me. Okay, let me just come a little closer here. Okay. Come on down to the floor. Hands are under those shoulders. Knees are close to hips. Fingers spread out nice and wide. Push first your thumb into the floor and then your index finger, your middle, your ring, your baby. Now push all those knuckles of the hands into the floor. When you do that, do you feel a little gap under your palm so my palm doesn't fully touch there it's there but my knuckles are on the floor and then the butt of the hand is on the floor so really grip that floor now keeping your shoulders packed I want you to try to rotate your elbow pits forward so showing me those blood donations keep your shoulders packed 
and then unrotate your arms, hiding the elbow pits, trying to turn the elbows forward or backwards, whichever you'd like to say. Try it again. Rotate the elbow pits forward. Veins forward. And then hide those veins, trying to show me the backside of your elbows. Triceps. Check out my triceps here. Triceps. Whew, Last one. Push them forward. Grip the floor with your hands. Maybe shift your weight forward into your fingers. And then use your hands to push the floor away from you and push yourself back up. Shake that. That cue out. you just said about the palm not touching reminded me of a basketball coach who said if you were playing street ball outside, you don't want your palm to ever get dirty. Mm. Right? Your, your hand will be dirty. Same with gardening, as you might have seen my feet there. Mm -hmm. The arch doesn't have to touch the floor. It's the same with the palm. Hmm. I like that. While we're here, let's just sit back Ooh. and maybe explore a low kneel position. Can your ankles take that untucked position here for a couple seconds and then extend your hips? And can we tuck our toes and think about sitting back towards that same kneeling position? If it can't go all the way, that's okay. But try to get those toes to bend and take some load and then push your hips back through and we'll come back down for another wrist. I really like this fist one. So we'll make our fist nice straight We'll come down to the rubber. You probably want to be on the rubber. You're going to want to be on the rubber for the seat and stuff. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fists on the floor, shoulders packed. I do, I didn't understand Ian's cue a while ago, but now I get it. Those two, you have more of your weight on these two knuckles because they're longer than these two. So he always said your peace sign. So trying to put weight through those two, slowly with one hand, Start to roll, let's do open first. So let's start to roll the back of the hand down, but allow the hand to open. Now check in where your elbow pit is. Is it trying to face forward, keeping that shoulder packed? And then push away from the floor, make that fist return to those two knuckles. Yes, Ian's doing the modification, which is from the wall or something elevated. Slowly on the other side, keeping the other shoulder packed, try to roll open, handle open up. Oh, elbow pits, shoulders down, this side's tougher for me, and close. Let's go back to the first hand. This time, try to do the same thing, but don't let the fist open. So keep your fist tight as you try to roll towards the back of the hand. I can't get too far away from my knees. Make my knees inch a little closer as I do this. Ooh. And then back to tall knuckles. And one last time on the other side, try to roll over, keep your shoulder packed. Don't let your fist open up. Elbow pits forward. And then back to two knuckles, oops, and push the floor away. Great, push back to your tall kneel where we're trying to have those, un those tucked ankles first. So tucked ankles hanging out, if that's easy, could you not on a seam of a rubber, go back onto your ankles. I love that intensity on the front of my feet. Yeah, Ugh. and up your shins. Yeah. And then slowly back to your knees there, extend your hips. Squeeze them, brace them, tuck them, relax them, sit them back wow. down. And can you push weight into one side of one foot more than the other? And then shift and push weight in the other toes more than the other. Do you feel your big toe dig in when you go the other way? And if then, I'm going this way, it's that big toe. Of course you're. Oh, cool. great. All right, some hover holds. Some hip oh, some holds, hips. some hip holds. We're going to go back to that all fours position. If those neutral fists, as Lauren was describing earlier, is more appropriate for you, by all means. Also, if you feel that we need to elevate onto a surface such as an ottoman, a chair, a stable, anchored box, great, do it. But here we are on all fours. Hip flexion first. Setting up the shoulders, as Lauren's described before, and looking between the hands. Blood donations forward, shoulders pack. Imagine there's a bowl on your water on your back or a level, and that bubble is sitting right in the middle right now. Without displacing the bubble or the water, could you lift one knee and just hold for five, four, three. Where did you lift from? Two, knee down. Same thing other side. Pull the femur in the hip socket, 
compressing in the joint to create space underneath the knee. Down, let's do that one more time. Pull into that hip socket without displacing the back. Three, two, down. And then last one, pull in, hold for a second. Three, two, one, down. Extend the hips, get to a tall position. And just quickly, we'll use that to set up every repetition, challenging the front side and back of our hip. First, do it a different way. Get to all fours. And this time, Lauren's gonna lift from right here. Can you see the difference of lifting from here to lift the knee off the floor? But badly, badly. Kind of a little bit of this side crunch. Gently relax. Maybe try that too at home. On all fours, could you lift the knee by hiking or twisting? Gently, gently, does that feel okay? Because that's important too. But however, let's extend those hips. For today, we want to keep this solid and express that mobility at the hip. So to set up every repetition, think slurping or sucking into the compression of the hip, and then we'll go from there. Let's get going. Hips, hinge, hands on floor. Compress in that hip, lifting off and into the hip first. Then pull the knee into center and forward. And we're going to hold that forward shape for five, four, Keeping the tailbone three, long, tilted to the ceiling. And gently place that leg back down. Lauren's cues of tailbone to the ceiling or lengthened out spine is beautiful. Same thing, other side. Lift up, compress in the hip. Pull into center and forward in this hip flexion. The tailbone is pointing back for three more seconds. The knee is forward, down onto all fours. I like to do that one more time, same direction. Pull in, pull forward. We're compressing in the hip. Our tailbone energy is going back and our kneecap energy is going forward. And we'll place that down. And one more time with a neutral head, compress in the hip, pull into center. Tailbone energy going back, kneecap energy forward for three, two, knees down. Nice and easy. Let's come up here. Oh, let's come yeah. up here. We could go from there to here. But then let's, let's actually just go back to where Lauren was. Using our hands or not, let's get back to our little toe squat then. And from our toe squat with Lauren barely hanging onto the frame. Barely. Oh. Stand up nice and tall here. And kind of reset. And we set some shoulder work. Let's do a little shoulder thing from first, from standing. We got some nice pullovers from down below. Shoulder. <laughs> Let's start in a W. And first, elevate your shrug. And then pull down. And for one more, elevate and pull. Then protract or forward, and then retract back. Protract forward, retract back. Relax those arms. Now, Lauren, make a W, particularly on this side, with a fist for this instance. I want Lauren to push up into my hand, but keep pushing up into my hand and pull down. Push in my hand and pull down, and then relax. We'll do that one more time. Think of tension on all sides rather than exclusively being up. There's some nice tension helping us from down. Set up in our W. Elevate up. Try to keep them up, but ultimately let the pull down win. Now stay down. Let the down win, but try to lift them up. Down win, but try to... What? Let down... <sighs> let the... Let the up win, yeah. let the up win, and then relax. Then same thing, pull them together, retracting. Let the rounding happen, but keep the shoulders back. And then we're rounded, and ultimately let the retraction win. And relax those arms. Personally, that was a little bit of a sweat maker for me. Find that tension, work on it. Let's get back down to those hips. Challenge those lateral directions, Lauren. Sorry, I was just looking at my drywalling skills <laughs> and thinking that the scene that somebody chirped me about was actually the scene that was already I know, there. there's like three different walls in the hundred years of this building that have been 
take okay. them down. Okay, we're back down here. Hands are under the shoulders. The shoulders are packed. I like to try to keep my elbows straight for this because then I know I'm not drifting or dipping. From here, bowl of water on your back. <clears throat> Let's first do what we did last drill. So bend the knee, pull it up and off of the mat, and then we're lifting it straight out to the side, trying to lift it up from the butt cheek, not the low back. Hold. Keep the knee bent to pull, 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 pull it underneath you. Put it down for a second. <sighs> but don't go anywhere because we're going to do it again. Same side. Knee bend. Pull it into its socket. Keep the bowl of water on your back as you lift up, resisting the lift. Squeeze the glute. Keep the knee bent. Hold. Three, two. Now imagine you're squeezing the thigh master to pull your legs back together. Oh, that turned my abs on. And then relax. Whew. Same thing, other side. You can stay there. Grip, pack, bend one knee, pull it up away from the floor, lift it to the side. No tipping. So I like to think about where the weight is in my hands. Am I twisted by shifting my weight from one side to the other? Two, one, pull, thigh master underneath. Put it down for a second. <clears throat> Readjust as needed. Last time, bend the knee. Lift it off, pulling it in the socket, and then lifting to the side. Hold, three, two, pull, thigh master, squeeze, 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 and then relax. Did you ever use the thigh master? Uh, only at uh, an 80s party. Did somebody you brought use the thigh master? I probably never used it right. I probably was way more interested of manipulating it for a bench press chest exercise mm. device than I ever would have been for my hips, but hips feel so good. So we hope that those thigh master inspired movements do feel good. From a casual pose, there we go, mm. clam shell it. From a casual pose on the side, two on our backs. Let's do our chin tuck thing. Elbows bent at 90 degrees with the fingertips pointing towards the ceiling. We're on our back with bent knees, neutral spine, chin tuck. From here, shrug your shoulders up, pull your shoulders down, and press energy or shoot energy out of those elbows as your hands go towards touching your ears. The elbows stay bent. Are you touching the floor? Is that a stretch or is that easy? Where's your low back? The low back is the same position it started. It's down to the floor, but not pressing through the floor. From here, let's pull those armpits down and return your elbows to the ground. Again, elevate the shoulders in a shrug, pull the shoulder blades low, continue to drive those elbows down and away from the body as they leave the floor. The hands approach touching the ears or the floor behind the head. And then from there, maybe straighten the elbows, keeping contact with the floor. The back shape, as Lauren asked, does not change. Fully extend the elbows to your safe level. At the top, elevate the shoulders and shrug. My low back came up. So I'm going to pull my low back down, pull my shoulders low, and then groove this chin up idea as I pull and return the hands back towards that starting position with the elbows on the floor and the fingertips pointing to the ceiling. Relax that. Let's go one more hip extension here. Hip extension. And then okay. come back to shoulders another go. Oh, that's look at you. That's like an 80s break dance yeah. move from thigh masters to mix masters. So hip extension, same position, hands under shoulders, knees are under your hips, spread those fingers wide, elbow pits forward. Now prepare by bracing your abs, bending a single knee a little bit more, pulling it up off the floor into its socket, and then keeping it bent as you reach towards the ceiling. Think about what's activating as you kick that ceiling. Is it coming from that cheek? Are you still tucking under in your abs brace so it's not coming from your low back? Now pull the knee to return it back underneath. Let it rest for a second. Readjust as needed. Brace, bend, 
lift into socket, slowly extend kick ceiling. Don't let that bowl of water fall off the other side of your back. Keep squeezing the cheek. Keep trying to bend the knee. Kick the ceiling, three, two, and then pull through tension to pull it back underneath. <clears throat> Whew. Same thing, other side. Readjust, spread it wide. Bend the knee, other knee. Pull it off the floor into its socket. Keep it bent as you slowly kick the ceiling. No twisting. Hips square to the floor. Bowl of water doesn't spill. Three, glute, two. Pull it underneath. Whew, relax. One more time. Knee bend. Pull up. Then extend, kicking ceiling through your butt cheek. Square to the floor. Cheek, cheek, cheek. Three, two. And then pull it back underneath. And rest. Whew. Oh, great. I like that. Yeah. Me too. One more thing for that upper back and some shoulders. This time, let's get on our forearms instead of being on those hands. Could be set up almost in a little child's pose. With our tailbone long, maybe sit back just a little bit for a second. Did your tailbone round the way mine did there? Go back to a position, maybe adjust those elbows where we can stay long through the low back. Now take a single hand, and there's this little window between your elbow and your knee on the other side. Take your hand, slowly reach it through. Keep looking on the inside of that elbow supporting your weight. Face, face down on the ground, reach the other hand across in a rotation. Add some of that belly breath. And for one more, Keep looking straight at the floor down, no rotation in the head and neck. I'm just trying to get a nice mid-back, upper back rotation. We were very patient getting ourselves into this position, so very slow. Think pulling yourself out, resuming that little child's pose plank, if we will, with tailbone extension, and then same thing other side. Look for that window between the elbow and the knee. Keep the face looking down. Take the hand, extending the elbow, slide it through, and then keeping looking down, add your breath. I'm also thinking about not get, getting dumpy on my sh supported shoulder, so it's staying packed and retracted. Awesome. And again, the head doesn't move, the upper body's trying to reach across. That's a nice triceps, lat, armpit, you know, where does that feel for you, mm -hmm. Lauren? Last one or two. Mm -hmm. And we were very patient, as we said, getting there. So slowly pull yourself back to all fours. Keep your tailbone long as we could come back towards Lauren's elephant elephante position in a second here. Oh, those awesome. first. Yeah. So just take some time off those hands. Oh, great. From here, let's get to that elephant. You're in your hands. Yeah. You said take some. Oh, take oh, oh, a couple seconds. Yeah, a couple seconds. So now from here. Elephant crawl, down dog shape. Let's crawl around for our first time today. Push the tailbone to the ceiling. And if your knees are bent like mine, that's okay. Keep your elbows straight. Walk around. Push and pull energy from the floor. Try to straighten out those knees. Maybe the heels could get to the floor. And then we can challenge left-right patterns, right-left patterns. A couple times each. And then, nice and slow, we'll find our way to standing. And I'm going to fold today, folding in, stacking up, making some lighting adjustments as we need here. How was that elephant? Do you feel like going to the zoo? Have you been to the zoo lately? You've been there too much. I've never been to the zoo. Yeah. Never. Petting zoos, llamas. Let's balance. That's yeah. about it. Done. Feet parallel. Let's first start by squeezing our cheeks and standing up tall and trying to pull the foot off the floor, leaving the heel heavy. So dorsiflex. Are you that's going a, side press? That's a toughie. 
Okay, heels stay in line, dorsiflex that foot. Check it out once, look down. Do you have crazy toes? Are they trying to reach towards your nose? If so, try to direct them forward so they're in line with your hands or <laughs> with your foot. And try to lift it again and squeeze that cheek and lift, lift, lift. Try not to lean back and then place the foot down. Same thing other side. Squeeze the cheeks, standing tall, lift the foot off the floor. No crazy toes, check them out. Make them uncrazy by making them in line with the rest of the foot. Squeeze your butt, extend your hips, and then put that foot down. This time, let's gently stay flat on the other leg, on a single leg, and bend through those toes to a point. And then to switch, push down and up on the other side. Just a little toe march here. Push down, go up. Push down, go up. Yeah. Keeping those knees forward for a couple more. Last one. Now place both heels down. Squeeze your glutes. Straighten your kneecaps. Push the floor away. Roll up to a tall balance. Butt cheeks squeezed. Legs pulling together like you're in a straw. Abs braced. Heads looking up. If you want added bonus, move your head. Side to side, up and down for five more seconds. Look at the Got weird it. friend in your frame doing weird things. Three, two, then back to center, slowly descend. Knees stay straight, butt stay squeezed, slower than Ian. Four, knees straighter, three, two, and down. Oh, Great. Even when she doesn't see me up here, she knows that some of those knees are going to bend. Some of those, Ian. <laughs> Some of those being one of them and some of them over here. Let's crawl, Ian. Let's get the floor through that fold, perhaps, as I was maybe trying to show off over there. Do the chin tuck. There's a wall two inches in front of your hips. You will come forward, but not that much as you flex, 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 flex. Oh, today I think I need to bend my knees. Good. And then keep tight, keep tight, keep tight. Hands on the floor. Find your knees down, screw in those hands, and even crawling. Crawling. And the lizard. Open those hands, lengthen out into your planks shape. From here, single leg towards a hand. Left to left or right to right. From here, how does that feel? Spread the energy through the hands, lengthen out the knee in the back, and then pick up the front foot, Place it in the plank and switch. There's the bowl of punch on your back still. Oh, was a sound I heard from my friend over here, Lauren. Oh, yeah. I was just stretching so, like, on my hip flexors the good after you destroyed them. And the good O's, those good stretchy feels. And then to the back. Are you progressing or advancing or staying the same, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to work a little bit in the crawl. Stay with Lauren to do the stationary version or me. Crawl. I'm going to pick up a left arm, right leg, move around to a plank, set up in my plank then, breathe for a second, then kick a bum with my left, pick up my right, walk in a crawl shape, forward, hold, and then you might do one more of those, kick a bum, walk in a crawl, three-point plank, land down the leg. And then can we finish in our squat, our more conventional squat, our two feet. Slowly drop your bum, lifting your heart. <sighs> Take a breath. <clears throat> Inhale. Yep. Yep. Ab tension. Yep. And then yep. we're up. <clears throat> Balances and crawls, those A's and B's and C's. Just the basics. <whistles> All right. Let's turn our feet slightly out and try very much the same thing. Pushing the floor away. Bending toes, this time pushing that heel down, going up on the other side. Push down to go up, push down to go up. Now both heels down, I forgot about something. Could you keep your knees straight, your butt squeeze staying tall, and dorsiflex flex again. So try to lift that foot off of the floor, keeping the heel heavy. Look down, weird toes, try to straighten them out. Put the foot down. Same thing other side. 
squeeze the cheek, keep the heel heavy, lift the foot off the floor, except for the heel, no crazy toes, put the toes and foot back down. Great, let's find a two-legged balance. So push down to go up, two feet, finding balance here. Squeezing the cheeks, pulling the kneecaps up, bracing the abs. If you're solid, could you look around? If you're not solid, find that balance aid and use a single finger, a light touch, just to gain some confidence and stability. Hold for four, three, two. Now, kneecap straight, butt squeeze slowly. Lower your heels towards the floor. Both land at the same time. Knees stay straight, two, one. And shake it out. <clears throat> Great. That is not my exercise. Everything's copied. I kind of learned that exercise through an Instagram account at Movement 101. And Lauren just made my day by turning that out to first position, mm -hmm. like the ballet style. That dorsiflex has been this week's and last month's favorite, least favorite exercise. We're crawling, Ian. Crawling. Who I think we stayed the hardest crawl for the last. The one that's down under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under Here we are in our crab crawl. First, set up with the fingertips facing back-ish. Sebastian. Somewhere facing to the back. Shrug, dump, be, be soft like this. Ugh. Then press away the floor. Pushing the floor away pulls the shoulder blades down. From here, can you gently tip or tilt your hips only? So do that little scoop of the hips at the bottom and that little tilt of the hips the other way. Awesome. Do one or two more of those. So Lauren is pushing her tailbone away, or she was a second ago, and then now she'll be scooping up. Keep the scoop, keep the scoop, keep the scoop. Squeeze your bum. Maybe lift. Maybe bridge. Hold our crab shape. Find an easy place for your neck for three, two. Now pull the bum down like you did earlier there, leading with the tailbone. Sit just for a casual second. Watch Lauren do that one more go. Starting in the other shape gently. Could you pick up your right hand, left hand for a second, Lauren? Starting in that extension shape, slowly start to scoop under, cramping the glutes, extending the hips to the bridge. Then starting at the tailbone, think a hip hinge as you're pulling yourself back down, lengthening out that tailbone as you go through. Awesome. <laughs> and then extending into that if we can. If you followed along with Lauren, take a rest. If you feel another one coming on, check out this. So same thing. So I'm starting in that low back extension shape. Extending and lifting through hips, squeezing butts, bracing abs, opening up chest, and then that hinge chop keeping the abs braced in that neutral spine as you come down. Pulling underneath you, lifting your butt and your feet and your legs, and doing an L-sit. Yeah. Yeah. You said the crab was going to be the hardest. I know. Okay, last one. Your turn. Okay, my turn. Take some rest. If you're following along with the crab, just watch Lauren again. We have backwards-facing hands sitting in a nice hip bridge scooping those Oops, hips sorry. away from the floor. Scooping the hips away, cramping those glutes. You can modify those knees and the feet positions if you need. Hold for a one 1,000 longer, and then initiate that hinge on the hips as we pull that hip compression back. Maybe, maybe, ooh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Scoop. Scoop. Get the bottom out there, cramp up the glutes in the bridge. Did and I then, hinge enough? That was amazing, and that's amazing too. Ah. That little daylight underneath those heels is so very hard. So in an I go, you go kind of way, don't do all of these reps, please. You go. I go now. I watch. Hands gripping the floor. Those shoulders retracted and packed right away. Tucking, scooping out to connect those ribs and hips as you extend. Check it, glutes are squeezed, abs are braced. 
Now pull underneath. Pull, pull, pull. You create room. Your arms are long enough. Trust me. Um, you create space by compressing and thinking hips in the socket, pushing the floor away. Last time here. I would argue there's maybe like a little bit of a disadvantage. Like Ian does have longer arms than his height, right? Your wingspan's taller. I'm the exact same. I'm Da Vinci's. I'm not sure what would be perfect. Team. Shorter limbs. Shorter limbs are easier. Mm. But it's never easy. Sunday. We practice the basics, but that's not unique to Sunday. We practice the basics most days. Let's Tuesdays is kettlebells. Oh, I'm wrapping it up, and Lauren wants to keep the balances on. One more balance. Come I'm on. in. I'm in. Let's do it. Okay. We all know we like our weight transfer balance here. Ooh, okay. So let's finish with that. <clears throat> We're going to tuck and slide down. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ian's right. Parallel feet, externally rotate. Point, transfer weight through that foot. Okay, now we're here. Tuck, slide down a little bit, not too far. Now push one leg straight to push that knee over the toe. Keep this foot flat right now, your extended leg foot flat. Now push this leg away from you to slide across. Knee's gonna bend and push the other way. Great, that foot's flat, hips are square forward. Okay, push away to go back. As you come through center, pull the floor together to feel those adductors. Push over, this time I want you to push a little bit more that you actually point your foot and your heel comes off so we have that nice pointed ballet foot. Three, two, toe ball, heel, accept the floor. Pull together, even though you're pushing away, I know it's a crazy. Straighten that leg, point through the foot, hold, three, Try to keep this inseam forward, showing me the inside of your heel. Accept the floor with your foot. Push away, but pull together. Push away. Transfer weight, this time full transfer. Try to lift that leg. As you're lifting this leg, it's lifting from your cheek, not your low back. Three, two, toe ball, heel. Pull, but push over. Transfer full weight. Lift from the cheek. Hold, three. We have one more round, two, tap down, pull, push, over, knee over toe, full transfer, extend the knee, hold this balance, both hips are still trying to be forward, this leg still rotate open, three, two, now bend the knee over the toe, then toe ball, heel, pull across, Ooh. pointed foot, full transfer, Extended knee, hold, three, two, one. Knee over toe, toe ball heel, pull to center. Now drive down to stand up. Transfer weight to a single leg, pull to close. Shake it up. Okay, now you can say your goodbye. I'm glad you included that balance. I do love all those weight transfers as well. And if you went back five, six months when our obsession with that movement came about, I wasn't as proficient. I was no. balancing all over the place. I didn't quite get it. So if you keep working on those basics, like our simple tomato sauce today, we'll mm -hmm. eventually master it by the time we're like, no, no. Yeah. If you've ever made tomato sauce, just shoot us a line and have you did it. Any tips or tricks? We're going with the manufacturer. Yeah, you got to be careful of that botulism. It really starts scaring you when you read about when it. When you read about it, it's, it's real. Anyway. It's real. Until next time, we'll tell you how that goes. Welcome and thank you for coming to our new space. This is our new corner. We're the same. We like to have fun, train our simple skills, and stay strong. Visit barsandbells.com slash book a class. If you'd love to join us in studio, we'd love to have you. Or become a member online as well if you're on already. Thanks so much. Keep sharing. Keep That's staying strong. Curtsies, huh? yes. And using curtsies. Using whatever. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks for coming.